Hello, everybody. We're going live. All right. I'm so excited. We're live here in uh, in our Facebook group, and I'm so excited to have our lovely Janet Nixick ready to go uh, on here soon. She's going to offer us a self love activation. So happy Valentine's Day to one and all. And uh, I'm very excited to um, have Janet on. You know, we planned this. We were so cool. We were just like, oh, yeah, let's pick this day. This would be so cool. I can't wait, right? And um, so I said, oh, Janet, perfect for your gift skills and talents to be here uh, right before the full moon, right before like an amazing um, three-day love portal that we were just entering into today. So it's really important that in order for us to have um, love in our lives the way that we desire it, we've got to have it for ourselves, right? So Janet's really going to come in with guns a-blazing, <laughs> with the beauty and the power that only she can uh, offer in her uh, most amazing ways with her gifts, skills, and talents. So I'm really excited to have Janet come on. And I popped in a little bit early just because um, I wanted to make sure that the live stream worked and it looks like it is. So when Janet gets here, I'll bring her on. But until then, let me just give you some updates and I'll probably repeat them too because I know Janet likes to hear them because uh, it helps formulate like her beautiful vision for the journey that she'll take us on. So uh, today is February 14th and I always say I like to say, what time is it? What time is it? Where's the moon? Where's the sun? What's going on astrologically? That's how I know the time. Now for this uh, lunar cycle that we're currently in, we are two days before the full moon on February 16th, also occurring two hours before the full moon is a conjunction. And conjunctions are similar to the new moon energy, which is about creating new cycles. So we have a conjunction of Mars, our inner masculine, and Venus, our inner feminine. And what are we celebrating on um, Valentine's Day is the energy of love to people in love. And that's also represented by Mars and Venus coming together in a conjunction and a kiss, which is creating a new cycle around balance of the inner masculine, inner feminine, balance in our relationships. It's in Capricorn. So it's a very empowered new cycle. Right. And it's uh, you can apply that to who your external self is. Right. And uh, and, you know, in your career space. So we'll talk more about that and I'll be sharing more um, just on my own. But Janet is here. So I'm going to bring Janet on live and I'm very excited to have her here. So one moment. All right. So excited to have you. Hi, Janet. We're already live. So just so you know. <laughs> Welcome, sister. How are you? Hello, Shannon. Hi, ladies. So good to be here. Yeah. What a what a pleasure, a joy, a treat, a gift to have you here. Thank you for uh, saying yes to self-love day and taking us on an amazing journey that only you can do, seriously. Like, mm. I don't know how else we would get here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank so you. are, you're welcome, how are you? I'm doing very well, very yeah. well. Yeah, feeling good. Yay. All of it, yeah. Oh, best news, best news. So happy <laughs> to hear that and glad you're feeling good. Uh, so I was just sharing a little bit of um, astrological insights and um I, I think that you like to hear those things as you weave together something oh. awesome so <laughs> that was, we're that team approach like that so yes. please share oh. i want to hear oh good okay okay great and uh just for those uh, who are new to our uh monthly activations with the lovely janet Nixick, this is our good pod mate soul sister extraordinaire um consciously flow coming in women evolving 2022 she's like on a mission to help people especially women come together evolve into their greatness into their soul's power you'll share with us more but she has a beautiful group that she, 
Janet does magic over there. <laughs> She's sending us Reiki healings and guiding us with goddess energy to the deeper, deeper, deeper parts of our being so that that blooms and grows and evolves. And that is your gift, uh, your soul's purpose, really, is to let that beautiful inner being bloom. We love that. So thank you, Janet. So I have her links in uh, the description and we'll post them again. So if you want to connect with Janet, and we'll talk more about that at the end, but um, just so you know who she is and how amazing she is. <laughs> so Janet, I was just sharing a little bit about what the power of this particular Valentine's Day is. This particular Valentine's Day, although we always celebrate, you know, in the United States here, at least on February 14th, but this one had, comes with a couple of friends. This Valentine's Day comes along with the full moon in Leo happening on February 16th in the morning at 8.56 a.m. here in California. Colorado, I think, would be 10.56 a.m., two hours ahead of me. Um, and on the course on the East Coast, uh, 11.56 a.m. So that's a big deal. A full moon is always a big deal, but this one's in Leo, which is our heart chakra. It's about opening that that heart doorway to uh, to love, to be loved, to love ferociously, like, like the lioness, to have courage and confidence in yourself. And one of the things I'm noticing uh, around love in 2022, especially today, because Mercury goes into Aquarius today. And that's also a big deal when any planet changes signs because it's a new journey. It's a new part of our chart that it, that that plan is expressing its consciousness through. So uh, Mercury is in Aquarius now. Uh, he'll move pretty quickly through it. But what's beautiful about that is Aquarius energy is opposite Leo. So they are partners in a deep harmonic dance. So here we have Valentine's Day. We're celebrating love and the heart chakra and all things uh, creative uh, around uh, you know what we can express from that place of inner joy when we feel so loved and when we're in love with ourselves in love with life and love with the world it's a very creative and joyful place and it's our natural state of being um, so I love that Rumi quote it's one of my favorites don't seek love just look for the blocks and remove the blocks so that love just flows in you through you and all around you that's 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 the joy um so anyway so mercury being going into on valentine's day to aquarius is the future and mercury is your mind and what i'm noticing about 2022 is that if our mind can be in a healthy balanced higher frequency energy we can manifest whatever the heck we want. It's not magic anymore. It's your mind. Where is your mind? So in regards to love, if you're feeling, and I talk about this from personal experience, if you're feeling that you're not lovable or that love is something that's not part of your, what's possible, that is a mindset. And Mercury is saying, can I get into that mindset and do my, my magic here? Because it needs to shift and change if you want to have something in your life that you desire, right? And whatever you desire, oh, I want to be great at what I do. I want a new career. I want a new relationship. I want more, more of this and more of that and this and that, right? Mercury says it all begins in the mind. If you want to change your future, what can you change today? That is the future today. So I'm so happy that Mercury decided to change vibrations on Valentine's Day to kind of wave his, um, his, his beautiful hands about and saying, okay, let's put some light language on this. <laughs> like, what are the downloads coming into the crown that you need to shift and change to either love yourself more, uh, be in love with your life, Anything in your immediate environment, like friendships, family members, partnerships, whatever that is, how can that shift, change, and grow through the element of uh, changing the mindset, opening up to more love, removing the blocks that are that are the obstacles or you know, the obstacles that are blocking that 
beautiful flow, that ocean of love. So that's all happening today. And then tomorrow we have the, the waxing full moon because it's not quite at its zenith point. It goes into a square with Uranus. Uranus rules Aquarius. And he's like, my younger brother Mercury was doing a great job. He's like, hey, I'm in your crown chakra. What do you want me to do? Right? I'm really good at this. I can like change the world in 88 days. Let's, let's go for it. <laughs> and then Uranus says, well, I rule that sign. And the moon is coming into a square, meaning that, okay, Uranus is in Taurus, which is fixed earth. This is your earthly life, your incarnation. How are you living in the physical world? Do you have enough? Are you feeling lack of limitation? What are you feeling? That's the moon. Notice and sense. So the moon's saying, okay, what in your physical earthly life right here, right now, is in a state of lack of limitation. The moon will say, since I'm in Leo, I want to know about your love life. <laughs> so the moon in Leo is the therapist, and you are on the couch, and Uranus is this magical elixir that you will drink that's perfectly designed for you to remove blocks and limitations. So I thought that that was really interesting, too, that we have this help to shift our mindset to have our physical material world existence change very fast. Uranus is the quickening, right? We're told Earth geologic time, oh, it's the dense, the density of the physical world is so slow and heavy. And Uranus is sitting here going, not really, if you just change your mindset and let me help you do that because I roll your crown chakra. You have to have sovereignty in your own space, right? And that own being that's desiring to bloom is ready to go. So we just need all parts of ourselves to catch up, to join in, get what we need, and uh, just allow, allow, allow. So finally, I'll wrap this up, Janet, because we're so excited for it. <laughs> so then day three, so that's day one is today of the portal, day two is tomorrow, and day three is the full moon, uh, which opens its own portal, right? So on the third day of this Valentine's Love Day portal uh, experience, <laughs> we have Mars and Venus. Mars are inner masculine, Venus are inner feminine. They join together in a conjunction, a kiss, right? And they are starting a new cycle around balance, inner masculine, inner feminine energy, in the sign of Capricorn, which is, I'm a badass out in the external world. Where, who needs my gifts, skills, and talents? Because I got them, and I'm ready to share them, right? So that's the, the 10th house, Capricorn, the, the top of the chart that's ruled by the crown chakra that says, if you can hang out with Mercury, moving into Aquarius on Valentine's Day, new mindset of, about yourself, Day two, Uranus says, let me remove the debris. I'm really good at this if you want a quickening about your earthly life. <laughs> What's happening right here, right now? And then the full moon says, let me help you release emotionally whatever's coming up. And then I also have the power to replace what you want in the sign of Leo, which is love, joy, happiness, more fun, more dancing, more singing, more coloring whatever that is that brings you joy, more hopscotch, tag, I don't know, whatever it is, no judgment. We let, if it brings you happiness, it's good enough for us. And then followed by the, the final performance of the three-day experience, it feels like that Jimi Hendrix, uh, he called it the experience. I can't remember the name, but I'll, I'll think about the, that album. Uh, but Mars and Venus are like, okay, new, new cycle of, we are working together for your greatness. Your own inner masculine, your own inner feminine are now joined at the hip. <laughs> they wanna work together in Capricorn, your external self, which is as an adult, what do I do in the world? What's my purpose? What's my mission? Am I fulfilling it? And 2022 says, yes, you are. This is the year of the teacher, the healer, the guy, the shaman, you know. What are your soul gifts? Let's put it into action with the help of, uh, of the goddess. 
So Janet, so that's pretty much what time it is astrologically. <laughs> that's what's going on. <laughs> so we get to celebrate all that with you embarking us on this like journey down the Nile. So cool. Oh, well, I'm excited about this with all of that. And I saw, yeah, so um, we're going to be working. So we're building upon now. So Shannon, Shannon explained it, all of this, mapped, mapped this out, translated all of this for us. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the next level of this. Shannon, name the portal. We're in the portal. And now we're going to take you through the portal and in our time together today, excuse me, and we're gonna do everything that Shannon just named, which I won't rename, you named it perfectly, but you know what I mean. So we're gonna essentially go through right now, clearing the mind, um, your heart space, and uh, dropping you into where, um, Shannon, when you're talking about the earthly experience, it's like the time is now, now, now where, um, like you were saying, like, how do you feel asking yourself the question? How do you feel in this, in your physical experience in the, on the earth plane? So the time is now to allow ourselves to drop into the physical body with more joy, more bliss, more feeling good at peace, at ease, and in your physical life and all dimensions of your physical life. And that you came here, you get to um, you came here to enjoy, not just be challenged by, but to enjoy the physical three-dimensional earth plane. As that is also clearing, shifting, you're aligning into that space, it also then allows you to open up your crown, your heart even more, and, and all of them work together, so it's not linear, um, uh, but even more so that we're then accessing all your, your physicalities or taking care of your needs. You're not focused on that physical earth realm of challenge or strife, right? Or lack of or safety and security, you know, stuff. So we get into your mind, we're clearing it, aligning you, your crown, your higher chakras. We're going to work a lot in the higher chakras today. And then in your heart space and that love and bringing everything together. So, right. So like Shannon was saying too, with the power of this full moon as well, and in Leo, um, clearing and cleansing emotionally, psychologically, everything, emotionally from your body, your physical matter, your cells, all of it, your headspace, your life, all of it. So we're harnessing that power, clearing it and opening up that space for all that Venus love energy and that, that union, the Venus and Mars of the divine masculine, divine feminine unity unified as one, right? Calling all that in and your dreams. So like Shannon, you're, you're talking about like this year, right? So what are, you, what are your dreams? It's all going to come from the heart. It's all about the heart space, all about love. And remember your relationship with money, your prosperity, your abundance is alignment with your heart. They're the same source. So we're aligning you deeper, higher, greater into that aligned space around your money source. We're talking about soul wealth. Soul wealth is all of the infinite heart space as well. So with that, I'd love to drop in deeper and then we're gonna help move and facilitate the movement of the energy. Um, and there were, there, were, um, there were some, you know, earlier this morning when I was, you know, tuning in for this portal, um, you know, it became very clear, some mantras that came through and I really loved, I've really loved them a lot. So we're going to, that's what we're going to bring. That's going to help clear that mind space and align you into the mind more. Um, the way that this, I've never, I, this is the first time I've actually been shown like wording it in this precise way. And it's different. It's real special. It just helps to kind of click into place and align you. It's very simple, but you'll see what we're talking about. So we're going to tend to your mind in that way. And then um, also, you know, just moving all that energy through your heart space, all your chakras, rooting your earth, your earth space. We're going to also work in your higher level chakras as well and say hello and activate, activate them to bring in the spark through your crown chakra, your psychic abilities. Talking about Aquarius, which is the future Aquarius, 
energy, right? Telepathy, your psychic gifts and skills. So we're refining all of that energy as well. So with that, my throat, um, I need a little water. Uh, my throat is definitely having some movement today because it's sounding all eh. So, okay, we're gonna get started. Are we ready, Shannon? Yeah, I was just curious, maybe afterwards, um, I know that you had posted about Sedona water. So if you wanna share a little bit more later, cause when you're ready, you know, I think that that would just be so helpful for people, your journey with the water. Oh, oh yeah. I'll share with it right now, just briefly, oh. because I'm drinking it. And then we're bringing that, the fluid, the, the emotion, the feminine, the, the water, we're mostly water. So our cells, our bodies, our lives, right? We're, so we're, um, thank you for saying that Shannon. So we're now we're activating that even more now. So the Sedona water, I found the Sedona water at Whole Foods. So what a gem. I could not even believe it. I mean, I was in the aisle just geeking out. I'm like, are, I mean, I was, I get very animated even when I'm alone in a store or whatever. And I express out loud. Um, so, I mean, I was like, what, wait, what am I like? you know, just because come on, I mean, <laughs> and it may, it may have been there. It may have been there for years or a long time, but this one moment in time recently, um, I were aligned for you. Like, you know, it just came together. <laughs> totally, totally. So, and Sedona has been on my mind cause I'll be there soon. Um, in April, I'll be there. Um, so, you know, just, we're just, all, we're bringing in that beautiful Sedona frequency through the water, just reminding you that our water matters because we are water. And so you want to just be really mindful of the way that you're, you know, what kind of water are you drinking? Um, how are you blessing the water, you know, through your intentions, your cells bring that in um just the you know and just having you know playing with it communing with water you can have you can put certain crystals most crystals some some not it'll disintegrate but you can put different crystals in your water you can have crystals lined up around your water you can definitely obviously chime with tuning forks or any kind of sound tool it all will restructure i'm sure many of you already know this but we're naming it now we're calling into being even now by naming it it restructures the molecules and the vibration of your water right all of this matters all of this matters so um and the and then the this specific water that i've been drinking a lot lately is uh sedona water so it comes from oak creek canyon in sedona so you're talking like this is literal drinking and, and communing at a cellular level <laughs> with Sedona frequency, right? So we're bringing Sedona and all this frequency, the element, also the element of water into our session um, right now as well. And Sedona frequency is just a high, 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 high chakra level. We're working today. We're going to be working. We'll name different higher chakras above your crown. So we're going to name those, activate those stronger, um, which is also the same plane or frequency Sedona vibrates at. And we're going to just allow for greater light within your body, within your heart, your mind, your third eye, again, your psychic skills and your whole earthly life. Um, so with that, um, if you are ready, if you're in a comfortable position to be able to close your eyes, I recommend doing so. And then I'm gonna put my microphone on. Um, So just taking your time, your extra time, always listening to your body, right? Just always tuning into your body and giving your body exactly what it needs, what it wants, what it needs, what it's urging for you. And these are going to be even just small micro shifts. It may need a little bit more of the blanket. It may need your body to be adjusted even slightly, even slightly. 
And if you hear the urge or you see it or you're feeling it, then just gently give it to your body. Don't resist it. Listening to your body, you're communicating with your body. It's in those micro movements that are humongous. They're, that's the, that's what compiles the macro of your entire life. So, yeah. So just giving your body exactly what it needs. Maybe you need a little extra cushion or pillow or crystal. And we're allowing for the Reiki energy. It's already been moving and flowing for you. It's moving through all of your chakras, lines of meridians, points of light, through all of your physical matter and your cells. And just gently allowing fresh breath in and out, just taking your time. Allowing even more light, more heart, energy, love coming through all parts of you. And then wherever you are, whenever you're receiving this, if you allow for my highest self, all of our angels and guides, spirit helpers, your highest self to receive this energy in the right way is for you, then you can say yes out loud or yes within yourself. The energy is always working for you, always programmed perfectly, perfect timing, perfect synchronicity, perfectly aligned, perfectly right for you. And so right now we're connecting you deep into your inner wisdom and intuition, spirits, awareness. And we're opening up the channels of communication between you and your angels, your guides, your highest helpers, spirit animals, these higher beings are your spirit team. They're there for you. They're working for you. They're working with you always. And so we're opening up those lines of communication even more, even clearer for you. And for you to even feel perhaps even more tangibly, kinesthetically, their presence with you always, wherever you are. And if you're a yes, and you can say yes. Rooting, good, deepening your root into the center of Mother Earth. Just imagining that roots are growing out of, they're coming out of the bottoms of your feet. And it, connects deep, deep, deep down into the heart and the soul of Mother Earth, all her crystalline properties. Good. And she's loving you unconditionally and fortifying you, your body, all parts of you with the right minerals and nutrients for you to receive, absorb, properly metabolize. That's most healthy for you and rooting you, allowing for you to feel safe and secure, protected, loved, wherever you are. And if you're a yes, you can say yes. And allowing deep Reiki energy into your sacrum, into your hips, your legs, your root. Spiraling through your sacral chakra womb, womb space, the divine feminine, moment of water activating all of your water and your cells into vibrating into health and harmony, pure unconditional love, pure love. And so just like your, it was mentioned earlier about just it, it, with love, just removing any of those places that inhibit or resist love. We're going there into your actual cells of your body, of your physical matter. So any part that's resisting or in any way, pausing, inhibiting, limiting in any way, full health, wholeness and vitality of your cells. We're just lifting those parts that you're ready to 
and then elevating your cells and allowing for your cells to just naturally, they know how to do this. This is what they do. Restore healthy equilibrium and health into your cells. If you're a yes, you can say yes. And wealth, soul wealth, wealth into all of your trillions and trillions of cells. And if you're a yes, you can say yes. Good. And so we're, we're flowing the money Reiki through all of your veins and your bloodline, your love line, all parts of your cells and worthiness and deservingness of soul wealth, even more it's feelings of connection, belongingness, home, safety, security, freedom, peace, which is all, which is what wealth is. Soul wealth. If you're a yes, you can say yes. We're going to use a special anoint, anointment, anointing you, anointing oil, a specific blend of the heart chakra. And so we are anointing each of your heart spaces. And then automatically, don't forget to play with and smell your oils throughout the day. It's an instant, it gets into your brain. It's an instant elevator and it aligns you very quickly of soul. Good. And so we're deepening all that Reiki flow through your heart space. Your angels, your guides, your spirit team are with you. So we're purifying your heart, all DNA, the collective past lives, all timelines, concurrent, future, all timelines. And through your heart space, your deep heart, vibrating that, per that perfect pink and green emerald of your heart space, depth of it, the front sides, the back, your wings, behind your shoulder blades, kind of relaxing and opening up your neck and your throat, clearing lifetimes through your throat. If you're a yes, you can say yes. Okay, we have a perfect citrine crystal that's um, occupying your solar plexus chakra right below your heart space, purifying, harmonizing, cleansing, allowing for greater wealth, easeful, graceful wealth into your life from within you and then out into your outer life in. If you're a yes, you can say yes. And we're working through your third eye. Good, so we're activating the light of your third eye. And so we'll go through the higher chakras and after each one I name, you can just say yes out loud or yes within yourself. That's gonna activate, spark the light. Open up that chakra, get it. Uh, open up your connection with the with these chakras, these divine higher chakras. So after each one, you can say yes. So your third eye chakra. Good. The color indigo. Your crown chakra. It's violet, magenta, white light. Soul star chakra. You can say yes. Above that spirit cosmic chakra, you can say yes. Universal chakra. Above galactic akashic chakra. Above source celestial chakra, point at which your source comes through. Good. And then we're opening that and then channeling and running the light, flowing the Reiki light your light, the light, the spirit through you and throughout the rest of your body as it meets and joins into your physicality and your physical body, cleansing your whole physical body with the light all the way down rooting and your connection and your rootedness with mother earth, with the light. 
grounding, rooting you within, centering you within. If you're a yes to all of this, you can say yes. Good, so we're rooting, always rooting. Root to rise, so the deeper you root, the higher you rise, the deeper you root, the higher you fly. And so we're always working in your root and your deep root and feelings of those of safety and security on the earth plane and, and having more than enough resources, um, resources and love, right? And feelings of security and safety and connection and peace, freedom, peace trust, worthiness, and deservingness that you are of all that you are, all of this that you are. If you're a yes, you can say yes. And blowing all that light through all of you. And we're activating into your heart chakra and your high heart joining of your soul blueprint of remembering remembering why you came here why you're here in this time and space remembering activating your blueprint activating your soul blueprint of your heart your gifts your gifts your heart that which lights up your heart, that which you came here to enjoy, to experience, to share, to connect with others, to be of service to this planet on the earth plane, your root. And allowing fresh breath in through your diaphragm, through your lungs, up into your heart space, relaxing your throat, letting go. And feeling at ease. Continuing to allow fresh breath in and on your exhale, letting go out. Softening your heart space. Um, clearing the past, letting go of the past, aligning you of the space of now, now. And we're activating into your third eye, your crown, your beliefs, your thought patterns, your psyche, your mind. And we're bringing the light of this space. If you're a yes, and say yes. So anywhere in... That, that you may be thinking about or looping of fear that creates tightness, tension, and security in your physical body around the fear, around fear of the future, around anything. Fear in your own life, fear in the world, or other people, other loved ones' lives, fear. We're bringing the light into those spaces now. And we're restoring and harmony. harmony. So we're, we're transmuting that fear with a light into the light of the light of love, transmuting fear of love. If you're a yes and say yes. So love is the space that we truly are. Love is the space that we're more and more aligning with, reinforcing as our baseline, that we live from, that we be from, that we are from. And also love, you will continuously return back to love in this body because then you may forget and then we're always returning back to love, right? And that's a natural process. So we're turning you, returning you home, reinforcing your baseline of, of living from home, from love. And then reinforcing and increasing your baseline that at the right times, you also continue to return home quicker, easier, deeper, right? When you veer off, 
and just returning home again. And that's just, it's a simple shift in perspective, feeling, vibration, alignment, thought, being. Can happen quickly, more and more. You're returning quicker and quicker to the space of love, through the mind of love, through the body, the three dimensional earth plane of love. And if you're a yes, then say yes. And then just allowing a few more breaths in and out. And we're gonna smudge a little bit with sage, just clearing your space, connecting you even deeper with your own higher self and your wisdom. Your spirit helpers, archangels. Aligning you into your divine spirit. Even more, even more. And this is your baseline. We're sending all this beautiful lilac color, lavender, pinks, whites, violets, purple. Playing in your heart space, lightening your heart space, loving your heart space, loving your life. And bringing love to your life on the daily, all the time, and all these seemingly tiny ways. And so you may just imagine this, or you may actually do this by placing one hand on your womb space, your abdomen, one hand on your heart space, and being present with the spirit with spirit, with awareness that you are. And you're continuing to breathe very slowly. You're just allowing. There is no effort. You're simply allowing your breath slowly, easing your rhythm to that of grace. Good, and continuing to fill up with love and pinks, purples, any colors, light blue, any colors that you see that are of love for you, that light you up, that are playful, that elevate you, and increase your vibration, your positivity, your hope, your optimism, your creativity, your gifts your joy, kind of feeling free. What do the colors of freedom look like and feel like? The colors of freedom. And you're breathing all that saturation of those colors into all of yourselves. Good, with the assistance of pure water energy as well. And we're going to go through this simple download sequence. And so there's three parts to this sequence. So I'm going to say each part after each part, or at the end, you can say yes out loud or within yourself. So we're, well, we're first starting with breathing. Softening, relaxing, allowing, letting go, allowing your awareness within to flow wherever it wants to flow. And you're following your awareness. You're just allowing your awareness. You're not controlling anything. You're just letting go and allowing awareness, spirit, to flow. And I am consciousness. 
I am consciousness itself. Breathing that into your heart, your sacral, your womb, your whole body, all your cells. I am consciousness. I am consciousness itself. I am consciousness. I am consciousness itself. Good breathing in. Letting go on your exhale. And allowing your heart space to flow, to feel. Good. And so now we're going to go through this sequence. So this first round is this. I look loved. You can just say yes. I look loved. I feel loved. I am loved. Are you allowing that? You're allowing yourself and your souls, your thoughts, your beliefs to become this. So we're going to go through this sequence a few more times. And so you're, I invite you to play around with different feelings, vibrations, words that you are a yes to. So this, this three-part sequence just aligns you right there. It allows you to become it through what you see when you look at yourself and what you see in your mind's eye of yourself. I look loved. What does looking loved feel like, look like? So you're engaging that part of yourself, the visual and the thought part of yourself that looks at yourself as loved. You see yourself loved, right? Then the next part, I feel loved. Ooh, allowing yourself to feel loved, calling that into being. I feel loved. And then I am loved. You be it, you are. And so continuing to allow. And so allowing for yourself to be present, we're going to go do a few more here, but allow yourself to be present as well with, um, I'm going to run a few more, and then you can also be present to what, what words you, you really want to reinforce yourself becoming. So we'll do a few more. Um, these are ones that came through as well for our group. This V Day Portal Week. And so the next one, and the next one that came through right now to reinforce is I I okay, the next one is I look lovable. You can say yes. I look lovable. Relax your body, breathe. I feel loved. I feel lovable. I feel lovable. Relax your body. Breathe, root, elevate, align. I am lovable. I am lovable. I look lovable. Allow this, breathe this in, allow this, receive this, align. I look lovable. I feel lovable. I am lovable. I'm going to do a few more. 
continuing to breathe, relax your body, allow. You're just simply relaxing, saying yes, receiving, allowing, aligning. I look healthy. I feel healthy. I am healthy. I look healthy. See that in all perspectives and angles of yourself, through your mind's eye, through the mirror, through what you imagine people looking at you and reflecting back to you. Visual, what you see, I look healthy. And feel it, I feel healthy. I am healthy. I look wealthy. Hmm, what is that? I look wealthy. I feel wealthy. I am wealthy. Allowing all this pink love, infinite source through you. I look wealthy. I feel wealthy. I am wealthy. And we're gonna, there's one more that came through for us today. I look magnetic. Ugh, this one's good. I feel magnetic. I am magnetic. Relax with your breath. Allow all of that pink golden light of love filling up all parts of you. Good. Violet, purple power, violet ray. Higher consciousness flooding light through you, of you, as you. I look magnetic. I feel magnetic. I am magnetic. And blowing breath through all parts of you, all parts of you. And so this, this is a practice for you. So maybe there's other words and feelings and spaces for you that came through for you to reinforce. And what I recommend is you saying out loud yourself, these affirmations, and do it re repetitively, re repetition reprograms, and feel it, see it, feel it, be it. So we're reinforcing that, and we're helping now, we're sending all the Reiki through all of your chakras, your mind, your psyche, all parts of you, your physicality, your plane of the earth plane existence here in human form. And right now, being present with your love, right, your life, anything that you um, that you're grateful for, all of it. Or allowing for this moment of time of silence right now, of allowing you to hold that space. Maybe you're thinking it, saying it out loud, or saying it in your mind. Appreciations, what you're grateful for. Maybe you're just feeling it. You're holding that space of gratitude, appreciation within your space. We're allowing that now. Really feeling your heart, your heart space, just allowing, allowing appreciation, that energy of your heart. Flows for all of your cells. The frequency of appreciation and fine tuning all of yourselves to the frequency of appreciation, gratitude. And that is your alignment of spirit and consciousness, spirit itself. And then the Reiki angels are holding you deep into your heart space, reassuring you, warming you, nourishing you, warming you from the inside of you, out of you. Unconditional love, pure, infinite love, the flow of love. And your angels also, your guides, are holding you deep into your crown, your higher chakras, right? Indigo, violet, magenta, white light. 
of your psyche cleansing and activating your crystal palace, your third eye, pineal gland, decalcifying, your psychic abilities, your telepathy, alignment of spirit, and releasing, relieving you of any lower vibration thoughts of fear, of guilt, of shame, of anger, resentments, disappointments, regret, letting go, and allowing for this purple, higher frequency energy, highest, 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 purest, most pristine amethyst to literally transmute those thoughts, beliefs, stories, narratives, vibrations of fear into love, love itself. If you're a yes and say yes. And allowing for you to dream up any anything of your heart space now with all that appreciation transmuting into love right this year being present with what are you calling in more of what is your heart ready to feel more of what is your heart ready to experience in your life and why it's all about feeling and enjoyment and love and about growth and expansion what's next for you in your life that you're ready for of the heart, right? That's going to align with even greater growth for you of the heart, freedom for you to be even more of yourself, confidence for you to allow even encourage to allow even more of your gifts and for you to share and connect with the world, share your gifts with the world and allowing even more soul wealth and soul abundance of the heart into your life as well. I right. thank you to the full moon, the charges of the full moon that's coming, coming with us here this week in Leo, super cleansing and charging up all our hearts, that love. Good, feeling the bottoms of your feet. And we're sending all that Reiki reinforcing into your lower chakras as well rooting you and grounding you, harmonizing and balancing and centering you. Good. And so we're slowly completing with the energy for today. Good. And then we're allowing for grace and ease with all shifts that have been made and that continue to be made for you. Allowing for them to be shifted with grace and with ease. Balancing your energy from the top part of you and head to toe. Reinforcing your force field, which is several feet in front of you and all the way around you, sealing you up from head to toe. Good. Allowing for even more and more pristine boundaries, saying yes when it's a yes to people, no when it's a no, and always saying yes to yourself and what's most right for you with courage and confidence. And then we're allowing a few more sweeps of the frequency of the rainbow from head to toe, just purifying you and cleansing you. And also the rainbow frequency is rinsing you clean from the inside of you out. And maybe just allowing your body to make just light movements, gently opening softening your shoulders and perhaps rolling your body open, lying for chi throughout all the different nuanced places within you, allowing the divine feminine, divine masculine and consciousness through you, the light to shine through. That's a co cosmic star that you are. And just taking your time, whenever you're ready, just slowly feeling feeling your way into the room and the space that's holding you feeling how gravity is holding your body you're always held you're always protected noticing how your breath always breathes for you automatically how are you thinking about it good and gently begin opening your eyes 
Whenever you are ready, and we will chime the bell once. much to say. That was beautiful. Thank you very, 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 very much. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you for having this space that we can all join together and have fun in this way and connect. It's so special. So and, precious. And it's vital. It's a need. Mm -hmm. We all, we need these spaces. We need them. It's not even just, you know, it's a basic need. I would, I now start putting this and really recognizing it yeah. on like Maslow's hierarchy of needs, you know, on the pyramid and the base of the pyramid of basic needs are food, clothing, shelter, and love. Mm -hmm. Right. And I also think, you know, especially in recent times, we're all coming to a common consensus that our mental health is just as important as our physical health. And so is our spiritual health. So our spiritual health is just as important as our mental health and our physical health. And so our spiritual health also of joining together in this way, in these spaces, it is a basic need. So I agree. That is, and thank you for like redefining what we need moving forward as a human race, you know, if it feels like the mental wellness or well being, it could either be a bridge between body and spirit or a block. It's like, wow, it's so important. And that's where the spirit yes. realm and health comes in to bridge all of it together. Yes, exactly. Because you know, if you don't have a healthy mental body or mental well-being, like you really, what do you have? Like, what are you operating on? I mean, it's really difficult. Right. Right? To even navigate what is reality. If, you're, if your mental wellness is not tended to, like we tend to our bodies with our vitamins and our good foods and our exercise, which is great. But what are the vitamins and the food and the exercise and the water for the mental well? And who said, who came, who, you know, when and who and how came along to say that the physical or physical health was more dominant or important than our mental health? Yes. Our like spiritual health. Like this. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I mean, all our, <laughs> equally vital to the organism yes all of them equal yes and they all play off of each other so that's why you got some physical stuff going on you know like i've recently experienced that's deep dive spiritually deep dive dive mentally psychologically emotionally spiritually because it's all we know it's all connected it's all aligned as one how can we tease out and say any one of those are more important than the other or that the others we could just dismiss that and put that over to the side it's like a luxury it's a luxury to thrive or to think about spirituality or or to spend time every day really reinforcing our relationship and connection with our spirituality which is all that is is our connection with spirit with ourselves with the energy with spirit life force itself right but that's something we do every day just like we take care of our physical bodies every day that's those are basic needs as well so our so our nurturing our spiritual health and our mental health you know and i think we're gonna we are i think gonna see that and recognize that more and more and then the organism or humanity we we restore them more into that harmony too and then we're aligned of our power source you know and yes i think like when you were saying that you know these spaces that we have like our communities our online spaces where we could come in and share in this way like you slowed us way down you tended to our mental, emotional, spiritual 
well-being, our bodies actually came into what I would, I'm feeling is real time. Real time is a lot slower than where we operate from in our busy lives, like packing too much in or not addressing the mental well-being. But I, I really feel like the physical time, regardless of seconds and minutes and hours, is actually a lot slower when we tap in. Because I mean, just as a, a, some feedback from the journey, like when you said, I look loved. If you put loved in past tense, I was mm -hmm. like, boom. Oh my God. My issues are not here now. My blocks are from experiences in the past where I didn't look loved or feel loved or was loved. Right. You know, whatever I perceived that those moments to be in those, what it was happening it was probably based on something before that and before that and before. I was just like, dang, that is so powerful. Like when you said, I look loved. I mean, I went into a whole hall of mirrors of what that looks like. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> And then putting it in the body, like I feel loved, right? And then, okay, all the memories of expanding that rather than I feel unloved or I look unloved or I am unloved. Whoa, I mean, like that was so amazing to me. And then of course you brought it present time and I feel, I look loved lovable, feel lovable, I am lovable. And then you said, I am consciousness. And I was like, that, I've never heard that before. Like from the clearing, uh -huh. of I look loved and what the healing process that started generating at, at a quickening quantum level. When you said, I am consciousness, I was like, wow, I've never heard that before. Like I am, this whole experience is consciousness. I've never heard that before. <laughs> <laughs> is that something? It's so great. And the way, I'm so glad you said it. And I want to comment on that because I didn't even think, so this came through this morning when I was just meditating, tuning in to, huh? and, I, uh -huh. and it just crisp, crisp quickly, precisely came through. And that I, I'm glad that you said that about, I appreciate you saying that about the loved and the past tense, Shannon, because I didn't even think about that. You know, I didn't have time to even go in there and think about that. So you just illuminated that one and all like, oh yeah. Like it, what came through was very quantum. The, though That three part, well, it was four, because we started, it came through with, I am consciousness, consciousness itself. I am. And you can kind of then play with that or mix that up and say it again, but that's the precision of it. I am consciousness, period. I am consciousness itself, period. And then within it, you can play. And then it came in in that three-part series, which is the quantum two with it. It just, it just gets you right there of the mm -hmm. seeing, the feeling, and the being I am. Mm -hmm. And so, and even so... What I recommend, and then the one, the, the last one that came through, we did a few for our group, the I magnetic. Oh, oh yeah. That one was so, oh, yeah. yeah. Right? I had a whole other look to myself when I went there. I was like, oh God. Totally. And it's right? all me. And it's totally. all you. It's all, you know what I mean? Like, it's not something I have to go and strive for. It's totally. And already. We'll see. And, there's another brilliance how it came through in this three-step way of you you it had to be it has to it has to be in that order which is look feel yeah. and i am because mm -hmm. the look can you start to just engage oh well what does that look like on me or what That's am i seeing right. right right and then you can drop in more into i feel mm -hmm. but a lot of times it's hard to like connect into i feel this way and conjure up that feeling we got to so start with that. I look, 
I look, that'll help kind of bridge that gap and get you to the next level, which is the feel. And then that feel gets you to the next level of being and I am, right? Yes. And all of your cells are vibrating that. Yes. So, so true, because especially a lot of our wounding or maybe our um, mental uh, imbalances or lack of wellness in our mental uh, health, um, it is outside of us. Whether we think this was done outside of us or society holds a picture of what it's supposed to look like and then I compare myself to that, I'm not that. So therefore, I'm, I don't have access to any of that as a joy of a joie de vie, a joy of life. And that's, I think, like how society really does a number on everything. That, that, that just blew my mind right there. <laughs> because, I mean, Shannon, you're naming, you're naming that, like, even like that external, that where does that originate from? It originates from something external outside of ourselves, yeah. whether it's society, reflections, images, pictures, whatever we're, we're getting downloaded with, or, or the ways someone treated us, or how we were loved or not loved growing up. That's all outside of ourselves. So you naming that one? Oh. <laughs> so then, then when you bring the series of this three-part yes. sequence, you're automatically going outside and addressing it where it originated from, like Shannon yes. just beautifully, like brilliantly, like pointed that one out, named that one, right? And so we go to that first and then we get to the feeling the next and then we be it. That is, because that's the exact process that happened when we got programmed to begin with, wherever that came from. Exactly, it took yes. us out of our being, made us feel a certain way and put us out here where we've been floating around, you know, unattached to anything of our body and getting like whipped around by, you know, agendas that are kind of cruel in their nature. Or loveless agendas, rather. Right. Which well, now we're whatever that means, who cares? Right. But we have we're sovereign. We can through your and it's so funny. I, I have a client I recently got to do her birthday reading, and she's an amazing Aquarius and an artist. And she's she was sharing, you know, something she was going through and, and you know, emotionally, like to help with an emotional uh, something that happened and it, it was affecting her mental well-being. She couldn't get through, it was like a, a, a terrible shock. And so she was, you know, going deeper and deeper and deeper. And then she realized what she was moving through, what forgiveness was, was a technology. And I'm like, oh my God, it is. It's like this higher frequency technology in a way of how does forgiveness work or how does healing work? It's like we, there are like kind of quantum levels that they are like a system and a method and a technology. So I feel like you, our lovely Janet, have, are, have developed a technology for healing. I am, yes, I'm so glad that you shared that. Yes, yes, yes. Which is, which is unbelievable. How much consciousness that requires of you to understand that and name that? You know, like the process of it, it's a system it's and, it's a you. and you can, yeah, <laughs> it's, and it is, and it is that technology and we can get the, and it's just, it's this map, it's these yes. formulas, you know, and more and more, we're going to have more and more of those formulas on this planet. So with all of this, you know, really focus, especially this year and beyond, but this year on your crown, on your higher level chakras, always rooting, feeling safe, nourished, grounded in your bodies of the earth plane with mother earth. And really, really, we're gonna be really refining and opening even more of the higher level chakras and our telepathy, psychic gifts, all that shifting the mind. Cause it does, I know you were, you were saying that at the beginning today, Shannon, just how quickly now it is when we shift our minds yeah, things happen quicker. It's yeah. easier. It's really, it's really easier too. So yeah, yeah, to the point where you're like, yesterday, I don't even remember that I, like when you get into the place of aligning with a, a mindset that's more in alignment with your soul, it, which is joy and happiness and no fear, like, I'm not going to fear for my life today. Well, you know, right? Like, do I have enough of this or that? Right? 
like I right here and I've got like everything. I'm fine, right? It's all it's all good. Like that <laughs> being able to stay there for like a split second or two minutes or three minutes or a couple of breaths it doesn't matter. You have shifted what's possible from this merged state of that higher chakra that those higher uh, uh senses that we have like telepathy and connection and oneness with our true being which is what quantum healing is it shifts it quickly yeah and just <laughs> right you're you're right. you're yeah it's quantum what you just said i'd love to i know we're <laughs> completing our time this this always happens no we can keep talking and talking and like ah (laughs) i do want to point out what shannon what you just shared that i think that this is really funny and it's so true and i think it's a really good tool talking about tools when you were saying i don't oh i don't have to fear for my life today that right there that encompasses how many of you have fears uh, on the regular and fears around that, that maybe in your mind being catastrophized as like literally like you're fearing your life, right? It's that old kind of part of the mind and the brain, the limbic system, all of that, where whether it be around anything around security, relationships, uh, money, anything, your future, fearing it, where it feels like and your central nervous system kicks into it like fight, flight, freeze, fawn mode that like you're literally fearing your life, right? And so I think if you can name that, it's such a common thing for us humans that we're thriving and evolving out of in our lifetime, I believe Um, it's already happening. So, but if you can remember what Shannon just said that, oh, and, and anything that your money, relationships, love, your future, um, you know, putting yourself out there, any of it, any of it that brings up that level of fear, right? That old primal fear, just remember, <laughs> remember that, oh, that's you. Like, yes, it's, it has that fear, like fearing your life. It's like a, that enormity yeah. Yeah. And, and magnitude, right? So if you can just name that and remind yourself, oh, right, right. That's, that's not what's happening here. You know, that's just that old primal part of us. It's not happening here. And I'm actually what is happening on this planet now that we're all collectively arriving into is it is our birthright to not be living in fear and, and, and having all like on, on the regular, on the daily, right? It's our birthright that we're restoring, returning to who we truly are, which is home, and heaven itself, and abundance itself, love itself, love, right, light, right, that's what we're restoring and returning to, so if you just remember, remember, remind yourself of that, and the more you remind yourself of it, it'll shift it quicker and quicker for you, right, and then breathe in your body, and do whatever, shift your behaviors, micro behaviors, into something that's loving, something that elevates you, whether it's even just smelling uh an aroma th- an oil an essential oil so right cool. yeah whatever it you drink <laughs> some beautiful water it just takes one or you know just some micro behaviors to elevate yourself quickly in the moment and just shift that for you yes i had, um was with uh, in a group the other day and someone had shared oh you know she and she said the body responds really well to love and i was like <laughs> Boing. <laughs> it's like, oh, <laughs> yes, you're so right. It does respond really well to love. <laughs> it's like, here's my book, page one. The body responds really well to love. The yeah. end. But see, even when you shared that, it was epiphany. It was an epiphany for me as well. Like, right, 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 right. right. We're so funny. Uh, we as humans, we're just like so funny. It's so simple. Yes. Oh, I mean, yeah, that was the, my, 
my, my, that was a quantum leap. I was like, oh. oh. <laughs> And thank you for sharing that quantum leap with all of us, because I quantum <laughs> leaped myself from that. Sure. Oh, totally. Oh. I know, right? <laughs> that is so good. Yes. Yes. Oh. So, so Janet, thank you. I, I know we're, we've gone over because I just adore and love you and never want to stop talking <laughs> for what it did. <laughs> Believe me, everyone, we've stayed up late at night laughing because <laughs> we couldn't stop I know. So great. I know. <laughs> That's the best times of my life. I love it. Um, so Janet, what do you have going on? How can we work with you? Or do you have things that you recommend for I us do. our wellness, our healthy, our mental wellness? I have um, our Women Evolving group, which is more of this kind of energy flow, long distance, twice a month. So on the first of the month and 15th of the month. So every two weeks, we're, we're flowing the energy to you, giving you energy work and sessions to balance you. Um, the And the 15th of the month, which is tomorrow, actually, is specifically around our receiving are allowing our worthiness, our deservingness around money and soul wealth. So it's our abundance Reiki Theta session on the 15th. And then on the first, we have a, a, a 60 minute session, Zoom link recorded live or on the replay where we're really getting in there and going through all your chakras and through, um, you receive a live recording of this or you're on live um, as well. And then there's a private Facebook group, optional, not everybody is on it. Um, so. Um, I respect everybody, you know, do whatever is right for you, but that's where we have, you know, some more information there or like support if you need it. Shannon comes on. Um, yeah, I'm so excited. To alternate. Come. Yeah. <laughs> and um, yeah. And so what happens with this and the energy work with the group is you, I'm sure it is you're experiencing through our ways here is energy moves and flows wherever you are, wherever it's directed to guide. And so you're always held into this container of the group dynamic um, all the time, 24 seven, when you're in the group. So you're always supported in that way. Um, and it's just, it's, it's amazing. You get to receive all this energy work wherever you are through the ethers, in the comfort of your own home, wherever you are, you get to receive it that way. And it's really affordable too. So, um, so there's that, there's also um, my one-on-one -on -one coaching program that I have going on now. So that's a uh, one-on-one -on -one with me. And so we do, I'm a therapist. Um, so we do on the, on the spot boot camp therapy on the spot, but we're doing Reiki energy. We're doing psychic work. We're uh, repatterning old patterns up leveling you to, you know, current reality of life and really getting in there and transforming. Uh, we're using Reiki, theta healing, sound healing, um, therapy, uh, coaching, life coaching, and really transforming your whole life. So in every possible area of life and your relationship with yourself. So that one's more of a, what I offer now is a long extensive journey one-on-one -on -one with me. And so if anyone's interested in that, then just reach out to me, let me know, we could get on, um, a, a call, a free call and we'll connect and, and I can answer all questions and share more about that. And then we can see if we're a good fit for each other because it's a team approach. So, yeah, right. Your, your type of therapy is like seventh dimension and beyond. I mean, it's like multi-dimensional therapy. It's so cool. Yeah. So if you are, if you know, those watching, especially now that you've experienced the power of, and the importance of mental well-being, mental health, emotional well-being, multi-dimensional therapy, I think is the way to go. <laughs> And Janet, you are a master at this. Thank you, Shannon. And multidimensional therapy, that's exactly it. I was thinking about this recently. Like I was a social worker and a therapist. I'm a traditional therapist licensed and therapist back in the 90s, the outs, you know, and then I'm also bringing all the energy work in, which is my big focus, my main focus um, and psychic work for the last 15 years as well. So it's all this perfect union and marriage of really transforming your life. And I've been loving this program that I've been doing. Mm -hmm. um, and because like the women are just, 
oh, they're just, oh, their whole relationships with themselves and their relationship with their body and even physical ailments in their body and their life and their intuition and their gifts, everything's in their sexuality, all their relationships, money is just transforming. Like just, you know, cause it's like, we drop in, we go deep and then you're always held in that container. And I love it. I love, I love my, I love the group work and I love my one-on-ones uh, cause <laughs> you get to drop in and get to know each other, you know, more specific one-on-one too. So yeah, please, if anybody has any questions or you want to reach out for, to talk, to have a consult with me, let me know. And um, definitely worth reaching out. Um, astrologically you are a Virgo sun which is um, you know already born as a healer and someone who can get into the corners and scrub right and help us go. Yeah. You know, health and wellness is like at the top of the list and then your Libra rising which is just so balancing and harmonic and loving and so you get all that and more plus Sagittarius moon which is just going to bring in the fire, the, the, the truth, the power, the, uh, and the joy that truth, truth brings into your life. So. Thank you for just saying that so beautifully. <laughs> <laughs> anytime, sister, anytime. Oh, I okay. Thank you, Shannon, again, for having me and all you ladies and yes. let me know. And also let me know if you have any feedback or questions. Yes, um, definitely. Well, we'll today. take a look at Anything. the comments on, life, on the lifestyle page, uh, especially yes. so just tag Janet so she can see them. And then of course, reach out. And if you need, uh, and I'll post your links again so everybody can find you easily. And then we look forward to having you back next month. Thank you. Thank you. And we look forward to having you in Women Evolving. Oh, I can't wait. I'm like, ooh, what are we going to talk about? Yeah. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you, Janet. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, Thanks happy Valentine's Day. The love back, watering our gardens. So, so beautiful. I love it every second. <laughs> Bye. Bye for now. Bye.